Track Weather with meteorologist Becky Taylor. Well, we're off to a pretty quiet start here this morning. We've got mostly clear skies across the area. A little bit of fog in some cases, the low-lying fog. Uh, we are seeing some of that around Clay Center. This is Manhattan, though, and we look pretty good uh, taking a look out of this weather camera. Mostly clear skies across Topeka, too, where temperatures are at 32 degrees. The reason we're starting to see some fog in some cases is that our air temperatures are starting to get a little bit closer to our dew points. And when that happens, you get that, like, ground fog. So just watch out for that this morning if you do see it. It's not going to cause too many issues for us, but with Temperatures below freezing, maybe deposit a little bit of ice on your windshields this morning. Winds are pretty light, only about 5 miles per hour in Topeka, but we're seeing them around 5 to almost 10 miles per hour in some cases. And where we have the calm winds is where we'd most likely be seeing the fogs. If you do have the wind, it tends to blow the air around a little bit more, makes it hard for it to develop. Otherwise, winds are going to stay relatively light today. We will see those increasing just a little bit, uh, especially heading into the morning and afternoon hours tomorrow. So tomorrow may be a little bit more on the breezy side as our temperatures are cooler. We'll have the rain, we'll have some snow possibly, so watch out for some slightly reduced visibilities in some cases, especially in our northern and northwestern counties through the daytime tomorrow. Temperatures, we've got upper 20s to low 30s for the most part at 27 degrees at Clay Center. Same goes for Junction City. 23 in Manhattan, 34 though in Hiawatha right now. We're at 29 at Lawrence and 31 in Emporia. Later on today, with the help of some early sunshine, should be able to make it up into the mid to upper 40s, maybe close to 50 in some cases. Uh, tonight, though, slow to cool down as we'll have increasing clouds. Uh, temperatures are going to be hovering right around that freezing mark in our northern and northwestern counties pretty much through the night and even into the daytime tomorrow. And that's where we're expecting the wintry precipitation with this system. The, most of the rest of us are going to stay above freezing. So especially south of I-70, we're expecting mostly rain with this system heading into tomorrow, maybe even hearing a couple rumbles of thunder too. So there's a look at our current satellite and radar. Not a whole lot going on right now apart from a few low clouds trying to drift in from the north. Otherwise, we are waiting for this system to come in. This is our upper level low here uh, making its way towards the desert southwest and that's going to be making its way towards us through the daytime and into tonight. Now we do have those clouds possible through this morning, clearing out a bit and then increasing clouds later this evening. After midnight is when our rain chances, maybe even our wintry mix chances go up too, heading into early Friday. This is at 5 a.m. Should start to see some widespread showers, maybe even some snow showers mixing in with sleet and freezing rain at times north of I-70. Wintry precipitation staying north of I-70 pretty much through the entire day tomorrow. So that's what we're expecting a little bit more of a messy morning commute. Stays mostly rain throughout our southern communities too, and we could even see some ongoing snow through the afternoon and evening hours, eventually seeing this rotating through as it lifts off to the north and east, maybe some flurries possible overnight Wednesday into early Thursday morning. But the bulk of the precipitation is going to be falling tonight and into the first half of the daytime tomorrow. This is what we're currently thinking, mostly rain, maybe even some thunder and lightning south of I-70. We could see maybe a dusting upwards to about two inches of snow in our northern and northwestern counties. We could also see a glaze of ice underneath that too in some cases where we could pick up maybe about a tenth of an inch of freezing rain or sleet as well. That's going to create some fairly slick conditions, especially heading into early tomorrow morning. So use extra caution as you're heading out to work and school if you live north of I-70. Otherwise, temperatures staying cool throughout the